So today I'm going to show you how to disconnect your oil injection pump on your Yamaha two-stroke outboard motor. And you can use this technique on many of the Yamaha two-stroke outboards that are out there. And this specific uh, engine right here, this is a powerhead from a Yamaha 50 horsepower. So the first thing what we're going to do is disconnect the oil reservoir tank and you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket wrench. You're going to have, uh, looks like one right here, one uh, up over here, and one right here. So we have three of them. So after you unscrewed the three screws, we're going to want to disconnect this hose. And after you disconnected that one, there is one more to disconnect from the oil injection pump, which is right here. So after you disconnected all the hoses leading to the oil injection pump, which is right located right here, you're going to want to lift the tank up and watch your hoses. And uh, looks like we got to disconnect one more wire. Looks like there's one more wire. I guess, um, I guess uh, this is a sensor to sound off when you're low on oil. So we just have a uh, wire. Actually, mine's already disconnected, but you might have something right here. And disconnect this. Two hoses leading to the oil injection pump and your three bolts. All right, so now as you can see, the engine's a lot cleaner by just removing the huge oil reservoir tank and it's the engine's a lot cleaner. So um, what do we do next? Um, we're going to start disconnecting these uh, hoses. Now this lever right here, we could disconnect this because what this does is as you increase your throttle on the other side, it can't really do it, but as you're increasing throttle, you're letting more oil uh, feed to the carburetor. So this is going to be useless to us. Um, to disconnect it, there's a black, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like a clip thing to hold this. But all we do is use this clip out of there. I'm going to pull this out just like that. Little washer, put on the side. This will slide. Well, just take some pliers, pry it underneath. It'll pop out like that. So you're gonna want to remove these two screws located on your oil injection pump. I already removed them. They look like look like this. Two of them, and then you want to slide your oil injection pump out. Wiggle it back and forth, and right in your pump right here. I'm going to take this out. It'll be just like that. And you want to reinstall your pump right back on your engine block. Put your bolts back on, tighten everything up, and we're going to move on to the next step. So right now I disconnected all the three hoses and the arm right here so what we're going to do next is as you can see everything is disconnected from the injection pump and next you want to go to the store or uh, maybe online i'm not too sure where you could buy these maybe harbor freight but it looks like it's, it's like a cap off as you can see not sure exactly what they call them but there's different sizes of these there's small ones and there's, uh, you're gonna want, you're gonna want uh, one really big one because the big one has to fit in here. Back here, and I think this one might work for me. Yep, should work. So we're gonna cap this one off. This one fits uh, on there good. Wanna make sure it's on good. And we have three more, which I don't have um, the rest, but just showing you how to do it. These are uh, obviously too big, but you're going to want to cap these off, the, all three, and also right here, I want to cap them all off, 
like that. They'll slide on. So that's what you want to do next. So we're at the last step. Um, you want to take this top hose off. We're going to take these other two off, but for right now, taking the top one off. And in each carburetor, this is the top one, you're going to see this inlet. This is where the oil feeds to and it mixes with the gas and combusts in the engine. So we have to cap these off. And there's three of them. You want to get your cap. You want to cap it off just like that. And for the middle one and the bottom one, it looks like we're going to have to take off the carburetors to actually take the hoses off and properly put the caps on. I do not think you could put it on with the carburetors on, so I have to show you how to take the carburetors off, which isn't too difficult. So I'm going to show you how to take the carburetors off. It's pretty simple. It's really easy. You're going to have four flip screws holding onto the carburetors just take that off disconnect some hoses it's really simple we're gonna disconnect our fuel line you uh, we're just gonna you could I'm gonna disconnect mine right here after you have disconnected the fuel line uh, there is another hose running into the block of the engine located right here and you could take it off either off the carburetor part or on the engine itself I'm gonna take the one off of the block because it seems to be easier there is a ground wire running to the engine block 10 millimeter you want to take that out put the screw back in or somewhere safe so you do not lose that screw so I'm gonna have to flip the engine because there's some stuff on the other side that I need to unscrew you want to follow this blue wire disconnect it right here just pull it And now, you want to get your 10 millimeter and start wrenching on these carburetors. So after you got your last screw up, screw off the carburetor. Oh, looks like there's one more hose. There's one more hose. I think it's a vacuum hose leading to the engine block. disconnect that after you take the hose off your carburetor should come right out and now we could proceed to finishing the disconnection of the oil injection assembly so now after you take the carburetors off you're going to take the rest of these hoses it should come right off and you want to take your caps and cap these off. You want to make sure you cap the top one, the middle one, and the bottom one. And after you cap that off, you just want to clean, you could clean your engine up a little bit. And before you reinstall the carburetors, you want to inspect them for these O-rings and make sure that they do not have any cracks and if they have a crack or if you're missing one make sure that you replace it and these gaskets are not cheap at the Yamaha dealership so if you if they don't have any cracks or anything you're fine and also if your engine's running a little bit rough because your carburetors are off you might want to pop open the bowls of these carburetors and make sure that your jets are all clear and that your flow is working properly and I will attach a link on the bottom of this video of me performing uh, carb service for this specific engine and you could use uh, the video for 
pretty much any Yamaha two-stroke outboards, pretty much all the same and the same concept. And after you're done assembling everything, you're all set. Make sure the carburetors are all on, all the hoses, your fuel is, your fuel hose is connected, now your airbox is connected, and all that, you should be fine, and you don't have to worry about your engine blowing up or getting low compression because maybe one of the hoses cracked because of age and that's what happens sometimes that the hoses they crack and they get stiff and they break or the oil injection pump goes out and these motors get low compression you have to rebuild them and running premix is a way to go because you don't have to worry about any of that stuff going on